do not matter at this stage. I'm really enjoying the process and um, something which is, you know, um, giving me joy is that whatever I'm practicing and how I prepared after the IPL is paying off uh, in this tournament. So I'm pretty happy getting the team across the line, honestly. It doesn't matter whether it's three figures or two or even one. Um, I, I want to apply myself in any situation possible. Last game was a bit more challenging in terms of chasing a low total and, you know, we lost one early wicket, so I had to apply differently. But today, again, the way Rohit and Shikhar batted, it just gave me so much confidence sitting in the change room. You know, these guys just went out and especially Shikhar, I mean, the way he took off was outstanding. I mean, those two guys really, uh, you know, dent the opposition mentally and then you can come in and play your shots and once you get going, the wicket was obviously very nice uh, to bat on as well. I, I don't want to take all the credit. Um, it was a beautiful wicket to bat on in the outfields quick. So I think it was great conditions to bat today. And as batsmen, you do want to capitalize. Yeah, Virat, just wanted to know about Rohit. Like, uh, since he has been re rested for the Tour of West Indies, like today uh, he batted. So is it a conscious decision just considering that he's coming back to international cricket after a long time? Like, to preserve him, looking at the season, like what's the plan? Yeah, uh, you know, Rohit <clears throat> has come back and, and really had a full IPL season, which has been hectic. They reached the finals, so he got lesser rest than anyone else. Plus, you know, the, he had a massive hip surgery. So muscles around th that area are always vulnerable. And today also he felt a bit of stiffness in his um, um, right knee. And we decided, you know, the smart decision is to rest a guy who's playing there's no doubt about Rohit's ability and what he brings to the team we need to protect him um, you know going further because later half of the year we have massive tours coming up and you know his batting uh, contribution will be a huge factor for us so we want him uh, to you know be careful because after a massive surgery you do need to be careful if you push yourself a little too hard then it snaps again you're out for seven eight months so I think it's a conscious decision by everyone to give him a break He's making the most of the form he's in right now, and I'm sure, you know, he also uh, knows and understands uh, the whole situation. Virat, uh, congratulations again. Uh, any thoughts as yet on the All Asia final on Sunday? No. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be similar, but uh, what have you made of Pakistan's campaign so far? And obviously, from the first game when you you know, wipe the floor with them to, to come back and now meet you in a final and knock it, the, you know, the hosts out who look so good in the semis. You must be impressed. Yeah, very impressed. Um, the turnaround's been magnificent. Um, obviously, if you reach the finals, you have to play some good cricket and they, credit to them, they've turned around things uh, for themselves really well. And, you know, they've beaten uh, sides that look really strong against them. But um, the belief just showed on the field the way they played together as a team. And, um, you know, Regardless of who you play in the finals, it's it's always going to be challenging because um, once you start thinking that it's a big game, then your mindset changes. So um, what we are going to try to do is repeat the similar sort of cricket that we have played so far, um, knowing the strengths and weaknesses they have. Obviously, we'll have to plan a bit, um, you know, according to that. But I don't think there's much that we need to change as a team. I don't think we need to look too far away from what we are doing as a group. I think we focus on our skills and, and our abilities and believe in our, ourselves um, on that particular day, then you know, we'll give ourselves a good chance to go out there and, and do some good things for the team. Thank you, sir. Last one. Um, we are top eight teams are playing in this tournament, and, and two semifinals are one-sided. Does it surprise you? Um, not really. You know, it's, it's everyone in a big tournament, everyone wants to play good cricket. Everyone wants to finish games for the team. And you will see more clinical performances in tournaments like these because you don't want to give even a one percentage of chance to the opposition. So you will see, you know, eight wicket, nine wicket victories. You will see sides getting bowled out under pressure. So um, and the opposition will capitalize once you once you see an opportunity, you have to, you know, seize that particular moment and and uh, grab it with both hands. and. Today we just felt like you know the wicket is so good, so there's no need for us to play a stupid shot and let the opposition in unnecessarily. We're, e we're able to rotate strike easily, and that's something we're working uh, at practice. So you know whatever we're doing in practice, it's showing on the field, and we're practicing smart, and that's why we're able to play you know in a manner that we're not putting uh, putting ourselves under pressure. So you will see these kind of results because teams obviously want to have you know absolute clear-cut victories and not give anything to the opposition. 
विराट स्टेज पर तो परफॉर्म करते हुए आप नजर आते हो लेकिन पर्दे के पीछे जैसे संजय बांगर जैसे कोच है जो आपके हजारों थ्रो डाउन डालते हैं इतना ही नहीं आपको मैच के पहले दिन जापानीज खाना भी खिलाते हैं तो उनके बारे में क्या कहोगे हाँ मतलब जो लोग मेंशन नहीं किए जाते हैं आई थिंक उनका कंट्रीब्यूशन हमेशा एक ओवर uh, शेडो हो जाता है प्लेयर्स की uh, वजह से मैं बोलूँगा और uh, जितना मेहनत उन्होंने किया है सब को, सब कोचेज ने मिल बट बैटिंग स्पेसिफिकली संजय बांगर स्पेशलाइज uh, करते हैं उसमें और हमारे थ्रो डाउन के लिए रघु भी है एक आई डोंट नो सब लोग को पता है कि नहीं लेकिन जैसी प्रैक्टिस वो कराते हैं आई थिंक 145 150 की स्पीड से आपको प्रैक्टिस करा रहे हैं नेट्स में तो आप मैच में जाते हैं तो आपको मतलब कंपैरेटिवली बोलर्स इजी लगते हैं जो 140 डाल रहे हैं तो आई थिंक वो हिसाब से जो प्रिपरेशन हमें मिली हैं वो बिल्कुल मैच सिनारी की तरह मिली हैं और उनको भी बहुत क्रेडिट जाता है स्पेशली मैं तो पर्सनल लेवल से बोल सकता हूँ कि इन दो लोगों की वजह से लास्ट दो साल में जितनी मुझे बैटिंग इम्प्रूवमेंट मिली है इनकी प्रैक्टिस और इनपुट्स की वजह से वो प्राइसलेस है मतलब अलग लेवल पे लेके गए हूँ मेरी बैटिंग को सिर्फ प्रैक्टिस जिस तरीके से उन्होंने प्रिपेयर करी है मेरे लिए उस तरीके से तो उन दो लोगों को तो मैं डेफिनेटली बैटिंग जो सेक्टर है टीम का उसका बहुत ज़्यादा क्रेडिट दूंगा विराट ब्यूटिफुल विकेट टू बैट ऑन एज एड but you managed to get clusters of dot balls and low scoring overs despite big partnership between them uh, could you comment on that uh, and that led to wickets yeah um see wickets are important um throughout the innings if you don't take wickets then it's difficult to contain the scoring um as i said kedar's spell was probably the 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 difference in the game for us uh, when we were bowling and he got us those breakthroughs and then we were able to build on it and i think the the wicket was easily 300 300 in 10 par wicket and to get 260 to restrict them to 260 on that sort of wicket they never got away from us and that was the good thing about our bowling it, it wasn't like they were going at 8 9 and over and have we had to pull back we never let them get to 6 and over as well um so i think from that point of view it was very clinical by the bowlers especially looking at how flat the wicket was i think they adapted really well Uh, you don't want to talk about the final leg i you know take it but uh, authenticity of the win uh, does it make a statement uh, to the opposition if you were to be other side and the opposition wins this way do you get rattled the, there are no statements in this game honestly um, on the day you arrive if you're not feeling well mentally it doesn't matter whether you got a 100 or you know whether you had a convincing victory and if you've scored zero or you've lost and uh, you feel great on the day you can win the the game of uh, cricket that's how this game goes and that's the beauty of this game no one's a, a, a you know a, a winner beforehand and you can't predict anything in this game we've seen some really uh, surprising results and you know it's been amazing for the fans to watch and for the players to be a part of as well so we just want to enjoy the finals and we deserve to be there we played some really good cricket we're not going to take anything for granted for sure it doesn't matter whether we win by 9 wickets we win by 1 wicket which is going to go there and and try to do the same things again and again be boring as a team and hopefully the results will come thank you thank Thanks. you everyone